Hello everyone, Paul Donnelly Bledo for CDN Computer Dealer News. With me here today is Greg Deffenbaugh from Dell. He is an enterprise technologist. We're going to be talking about software-defined storage. First off, uh, Greg, uh, where does the software-defined storage strategy fit into Dell's overall strategy of being an end-to-end -end provider? The software-defined storage area right now has created a lot of turbulence in the marketplace. Um, there's a lot of vendors out there who are promoting software-defined storage solutions kind of based on their personal technology. Um, Dell's approaching it. We, we want to define software-defined storage based on what our customer defines it by and then helping those customers realize the value of, of that definition. So if they are more of an evolutionary type customer who says, hey, I want some of the benefits of software-defined storage, like efficiency, orchestration, those kinds of things, but I don't want to abandon my traditional infrastructure, we're working on building out those infrastructure you know, with things like through orchestration and integration up the stack to help customers realize that. If customers are saying, no, I've got applications that make sense for me to do an evolutionary approach, for instance, a storage spaces or a vSAN or a Nexenta type solution, we're there with reference architectures and even skewed solutions to help those customers realize it. So I, I, our approach is really helping the customers uh, help them understand what it, software defined storage means to them and then realize that definition. Now, Greg, there's a lot of these flash uh, storage vendors out there in the marketplace. Where does software defined storage in terms of play in that space? So I, I think these are, are somewhat different paradigms, but what we're seeing right now is there are a lot of vendors out there who are bringing out flash-based storage devices. Um, some of them are very, fairly immature, some of them are fairly mature. Mm -hmm. um, but what we find is customers are, are, there's a unique set of use cases for which these make sense, i.e. I need a relatively small data set and I need very high la um, response times, very low latencies, mm -hmm. you mean sub-millisecond latencies. Um, this is fine, but you know, kind of our approach is, is rather than standing up something unique, mm -hmm. a unique piece of hardware that has to be def managed from a completely different paradigm, is build those kinds of solutions on top of our existing infrastructures from Equalogic and Compellent. Um, whether it's building out an all-flash device that sits on a SAN or a hybrid device, which is a combination of flash and traditional spinning drives, or um, you know, our latest announcement, which is we're putting flash technology in the server mm -hmm. just sitting on the bus for some millisecond response time. But it's the key of all of these solutions is they're managed all the same way. So if I'm using a compelling or equal logic today, I'm using the same management tools to manage my all-flash solution as I am managing you know, my traditional spinning disk, or maybe even my, my cheap and deep archive disk. So I don't have additional learning curves. I'm not creating additional islands of technology. I'm building on what I've already have. And then as Dell takes this and we're moving things like orchestration and, and adding things like RESTful APIs and stuff to the platforms, those flash-only solutions based on that same technology will then gen generate the benefits of that. Okay, great. Well, Greg Defmont, thank you very much for your insight on, on this topic. Uh, that's all the time we have for, for this. I'm Paul Donnelly-Bledo for CDN Computer Doing News. Thanks for watching.